When I sat before this committee in 2018 for my confirmation hearing, I cannot have imagined how challenging and rewarding this job would be. That's why it's such an honor to appear before this committee today to testify about the extraordinary efforts of the election security community to protect the 2020 election, a difficult task complicated by the ongoing global pandemic. But before I get into the substance of my remarks, I'm grateful to this committee and your leadership and your guidance over the last several years. First, in shepherding what's probably the best of the 100 bills that came through the, the committee, uh, your efforts to, the, for the CISA, <laughs> the CISA authorizing statute, uh, and uh, your support of CISA's efforts securing our elections. The nation should also thank the many federal, state, and local government election partners for the crucial work that's been done that would give our citizens the confidence that their vote was counted as cast. We should also be taking a victory lap, celebrating a job well done. Consider where we started. When I rejoined the Department of Homeland Security in 2017, America had just endured a broad attack on democracy, owing to the now well-documented interference campaign by the Russian Federation. Whatever their other motivations, this campaign sought to undermine confidence in our democratic institutions. Building on the universal agreement across the national security community that we cannot allow that to happen again, the CISA team started with what needed to be improved based on the 2016 elections. First, we needed to improve our relationships with our state and local election officials, the individuals that actually run our elections. Second, we need to improve the security and resilience of election systems, particularly by phasing out voting machines without paper ballots. Third, federal agencies needed to move faster, work better together with each other and our state and local counterparts, and be more proactive in order to detect and prevent attacks on our democracy. Over the course of the last few years, we met these challenges. We improved CISA's relationships with key partners through constant engagement in building an election security community of practice. This improvement is best, uh, perhaps best represented by an election-specific information sharing and analysis center made up of all 50 states and thousands of jurisdictions. We improved the security of systems, scanning for vulnerabilities in election systems, providing intelligence briefings and rapidly alerting to emerging threats, and deploying security system, uh, sensors, among other measures. And while we, also while we were principally focused on stopping actual hacks, we also had to contend with perception hacks, a form of disinformation which we countered with our rumor control website. We contributed to the cross-agency effort to protect the 2020 election by surging coordination and collaboration with our partners across the national security space. In conclusion, because of these and other efforts, on November 12, 2020, government and industry representatives from the election security community issued a joint statement reflecting a consensus perspective that the 2020 election was the most secure in U.S. history. That statement reflects the confidence these officials gained based on years of work poured into improving the security and resilience of our elections. It was based on the strong operational relationships developed across the election security community. It was based on the tremendous partnership between CISA under the thoughtful guidance of this committee, the FBI, the Election Assistance Commission, the Department of Defense, and the intelligence community. It was based on an intimate understanding of how our elections work here in the US. It was based on the increase in paper ballots and audits across the nation, and probably most importantly, it was based on the professionals, the heroes that conduct elections in this country. While elections are sometimes messy, this was a secure election. Of that, I have no doubt. Chairman Johnson, Ranking Member Peters, and members of this committee, thank you again for the opportunity to be here today, for your leadership, and for your support of CISA. I look forward to answering your questions and sharing more about our efforts to protect 2020.